Alright guys, so today I am going to be sharing another small haul and recent eBay listings. Uh, Eric and I did win a couple pieces recently at the auction, so I wanted to share those with you because some of them are just really quite cool in my opinion. Um, and then the rest of the stuff is just some random stuff that we got uh, listed recently. So I do think... Um, eBay sales, like this was Labor Day weekend and we had a lot of sales, which is really nice. Um, so sales are doing great right now and it just kind of puts that fire <laughs> under you to just continue to get stuff listed so more stuff can sell. So I've been a little struggling with that because you know, it is technically a holiday weekend and, you know, when I was working full time at, you know, actual jobs when I wasn't reselling full time, um, I didn't get off for Labor Day. Like that wasn't really a holiday for me. I still had to work. So it's like now that I have, you know, I'm working for myself. I could take the day off, but I don't. So yesterday I spent the day listing i think i between eric and i we listed like 30 some things which i think is a really good listing day so like i said we could have taken the time to just relax but instead we worked <laughs> because we're just used to working um so you know there's that <laughs> so but that i think also contributes to getting sales because i always say the more you list you know, the more you sell type of thing. And, you know, sales were popping off. So let's just get into it. So like I said, we won a couple of things at um, the one auction. We just put in some left bids and left bids, if you're not familiar with like auction uh, lingo and things like that, is basically when you don't actually go to the auction, like during the preview or the day of, you can put in what they call a left bid and then the auctioneer will bid on your behalf and you don't have to be there. So we didn't actually sit there or go. We went the night before, put in our left bids and then spent the day doing other stuff. So um, that's always a nice option. Some auction houses do it, some don't, but for the most part, most of them do. And this particular auction, they always have really nice stuff. But the downfall to this particular auction is their stuff sells for a lot of money. Um, you know, there's a lot of collectors that go to, the, to that specific auction and obviously a lot of resellers as well. And what's so funny about the two pieces that I'm going to share with you first is these were actually in an antique store in my area. Um, and... <laughs> actually debated on buying them right to resell but there wasn't really a whole lot of meat left on the bones type of thing after you know fees and all of that so I never did buy them well this um, antique mall actually um, didn't close down but they're moving it and this particular vendor in the antique mall I guess decided that they weren't going to continue with their booth so they sent the stuff to auction so the prices that the stuff went for at the auction were um right around the prices that they had them for sale originally in in the booth um so but i did manage to get this piece for um uh, less than what they had it for in in the booth. So this looks like an unassuming box, right? Um, but this is actually a Holt Howard piece and oh my gosh, it's in beautiful condition. I mean honestly like new. So this is the little cozy kitten um, wall pocket, right? So it has a hole on the top um, and then, you know, the little piece back here so you can hang it up. So it's a little wall pocket, but it's more than that. Um, this actually is a key ring holder. So it comes with this little metal piece with the hooks. And then you lay that right here where its tail is. And then you can hang your keys 
from it as well. So typically when you find this piece, you just find the cat. It's very rare to actually find the key ring holder with it, let alone the box, right? So for the Hold Howard cat, I won this at a bid of $60. And I listed it as a buy it now for $169.99. So like I said, the other ones listed, it's just the cat minus the key ring holder. It already has like a lot of watchers. I want to say 10 watchers on this already. So I do think it's going to go at some point, um, maybe closer to Christmas, somebody wanting this as like a Christmas present or something. But yeah, like I said, very hard to find with that key ring. So this was a really cool piece. So there were also <laughs> three of these pixie wear pieces. And these were also at that antique, antique mall that they had the booth. Uh, again, with the original box. So these are by Holt Howard as well. And they're called pixie wear. These can sell for a lot of money. I will show you the actual product here in a minute. Um, if you've never heard of these or saw these before, they come in different, what you would call just like condiment type of jars. So this is what the one I won looks like. Very, very cute. Um, this one is for the instant coffee. So they also had a ketchup and a mustard we did not win those, um, but they didn't sell for as much as this one does. Um, so the ketchup and the mustard pretty much sold for what they sell for. So I'm pretty sure like the lady who was bidding on them, you know, was planning on collecting them, not necessarily reselling, or at least that's what I'm assuming, but Everyone has different business practices, that's all I'm saying. Uh, so, but the Instant Coffee was one that sells for uh, much more. She is a harder to find one more desirable. So there's all different ones of these types of condiment jars. And like I said, some are, you know, worth more than others are. Uh, the fact that this had its original box is amazing because again, you rarely see these pieces with their boxes and this one it was in nice condition there was no chips there was no repairs um, so when you open it there's like a little spoon to get out you know whatever goes in the jar there is a little bit of some like crazing in there that looks dark um, but other than that I mean the fact that it has the box and everything it still has its sticker and the spoon still attached, no repairs, just, you know, some crazing from age. Uh, this was a really cool piece. Um, won this at a bid of $175. And I listed this one as a buy it now for $389.99. So definitely, again, another cool piece. Had to pay up for it, but... Um, they do sell for um, typically just a little bit less than that. I tacked on, I think, $20 onto my price just specifically because mine comes with the box. So for a collector, I would say, and looking up prices of just the empty boxes that an empty, just an empty box of this would sell for $20, no problem. So that's why I just tacked on, um, I think it was like $20 more since I had the box. Cool pieces. I also put in a bid for some other stuff that we didn't win, uh, but then I did win a tray that had some Christmas stuff on, so I'll go through that really quick. Um, the Christmas tray, I won at a bid of $40, and I'll show you what all was on it. So the first thing was this little felt pixie, and he can be a knee hugger, like you can pose him. Um, as like a knee hugger or whatnot. He's in really nice, clean condition. So I listed him as a buy it now for $19.99. So he was on that tray. This little Napco Santa Claus was on that tray. He's in a sitting position holding a Christmas tree. 
he still does have his sticker on the bottom. Someone put a little bit of felt on him. Um, but again, really nice condition. No paint loss or anything like that. Listed him as a buy it now for $29.99. Um, this little guy was on the tray. Just this little red ceramic Santa boot. Um, it doesn't go down real far. I don't know if this was like for a votive holder. Um, there were, there was some like floral foam in here. It was really gunky floral foam. I cleaned it all out. So you could put like some nice new floral foam in there and kind of make a little planter out of it. But again, nice um, condition, no issues. And this is by Parma, made in Japan, it says on the bottom. And I have this listed as a buy it now for $14.99. Next item that was on the tray, I'm going to post a picture of it. This was a set of three Napco Caroler Penguins. One of the penguins, um, the paint on it is very, very flaky. Um, I was debating on even listing him with the other two penguins because of that fact, but I didn't see any listed, so I figured, you know, if anyone is, like, trying to buy these penguins or collect these penguins that maybe they'd still want it so I put it with it but I don't want to touch it too much because even lightly touching it the paint just wants to like flake off so I'm not touching it again until it's getting packed up and I mentioned all that in the description it has a couple watchers and I feel like if it wasn't for that I think it probably they already would have sold um but I did list them as the lot for buy it now of $19.99 then the last thing that was on the, that tray was this really cute, big-eyed girl. This is actually a Kamar um, little doll, and she is so stinking cute. You can use her as an ornament. She's very clean. Uh, when I looked her up originally, I only saw um, someone had one, ha still has, uh, one listed that looks just like her except a little bit different of a coloring for $199.99 and it has a lot of watchers. Um, so I kind of went with that. I don't know like exactly what they sell for, but that's what I listed mine for. So we'll see. I don't know if I'll be sitting on her for a while or not, but she is quite adorable. And she just has those so cute, like expressive, big um, eyes. So buy it now, $199.99. So those were the things that um, we won at the auction. So here's just some random stuff. Uh, I listed these vintage shiny bright ornaments. I have a box of 12 of these. I have a lot of vintage ornaments, a lot of shiny brights, and what I did was I kind of created a box of similar and like ornaments, and I think it came out pretty good. I think these all kind of go really well together, so <laughs> I like how this box came out. Um, and I listed this box on auction with a starting price of $29.99, so... I have quite a few more boxes to get listed, but that's where I am so far. It's kind of a process listing vintage Christmas bulbs, like having to look them over and that type of thing. Some of them have like old, the old metal hooks in and I, I normally take those off and you know, it's a whole process of photographing them and everything like that. So slowly but surely I will get through it. I also listed this little angel ornament. You could also use her as like a tree topper on like a miniature tree. She's very cute. She is marked Japan on the inside of her cardboard dress. And I got her at a yard sale. I think I paid a quarter for her. And I listed her as a buy it now for $12.99. I also have a couple other pieces from a different auction. One day we went, there were a lot of Hallmark related pieces. So I won this Hallmark uh, ornament. It's called the Pierced Snowman. 
And this is a wonder and light ornament. So when you plug him into Hallmark's magic cord, um, it lights up and shines through his stomach area. So it kind of projects like a snowflake type of pattern. So I won that with the magic cord. So that goes with this, but this can power up to seven of Hallmark's um, wonder and light ornaments. So you can, if you have more, um, it would light up six more ornaments kind of thing. So these here, I paid $5 for the pair. And I listed these together as a buy it now for $59.99. There were only two of these ornaments listed and neither of them had any kind of power cord adapter with them. I'm gonna pop up a couple pieces because they're very large. This next piece was this like tall, when put together, this tall snowman kind of orchestra. Uh, they light up, um, it's musical, that type of thing. Uh, we paid $10 for this piece and I have it listed as a buy it now for $119.99. So some Hallmark items are worth decent money. Not all of them, but it definitely pays to look them up when you come across them. Same way with this next piece. Um, the man whose items these were, these Hallmark items, he actually had a Hallmark store. So, um, but I think they did sell a lot of his inventory at one point prior. And this stuff was more, I believe, his um, like actual pieces that he just had himself. So this is like a Santa countdown to Christmas. It's really large. Um, and then on his little chimney piece, it counts down the days of Christmas. They actually have this in an ornament sized version, which I actually also have for sale. I got it a yard sale at one point that still hasn't sold yet. But this one is like the real, real huge version. This would have been like a um, display piece for the store. I don't even know if you could buy these. Um, there was actually a tag on it that said register to win. So I don't know if like the stores got them in and then you could like register in the store to potentially win it. I don't know if this just <laughs> never got a winner drawn or what have you, but there is seriously a tag on it that says register to win. So I don't know. It's funny. But um, I paid $26 for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $125.99. And then here is another like real large piece. This was for a Hallmark ceramic nativity set. So this came in four different boxes with all of the pieces of the nativity. We paid $32.50 for these. The, these larger ones are actually harder to find. Um, they also made like a miniature sized version, uh, but these are like large pieces. And we have those listed as a buy it now for $199.99. Some nativity sets can do really, really well. And this piece recently at the auction, this is actually a vintage swim cap. How freaking weirdly unique is this? It's like a cheerleading pom-pom is what it looks like, does it not? Uh, this is actually by Playtex. It is old. Um, it's marked made in West Germany. There is some issues to the rubber on the inner, the inner cap from age. Um, I have only ever one and sold one other vintage swim cap, but it sold very quickly. And if you look up, this is my Playtex. I don't know if I said that, but um, if you look up vintage Playtex swim cap, there is not much listed. Um, so, you know, there are people out there who do collect these vintage swimming caps. And this one, like I said, I've never seen any that look like this before. Typically when you see them, they're either all rubber or they have some sort of like 
plastic looking flowers on them or something to that extent. Never seen one with this like fringy pom-pom look. So I had to win this. Um, I didn't really have anything to go by. I just kind of was like, whatever. I paid, I only paid $5 for it. And I put it on auction with a starting price of $39.99. Um, next item actually already sold. Eric won this PS2 console at the auction. He paid just $5 for this console, which was just crazy. And he listed it as a buy it now for $72.99 and it sold within the next day. So that was a very quick flip. Also at the auction, won this really cool mid-century modern enamel lidded bowl. Looks like this, it's got a little starburst on it. Here's what it looks like from the side. And then the bottom is signed um, Winter. That stands for Edward Winter. And some, some of his stuff can sell really well. Um, you know, people do really like the mid-century modern look. And this is like a lidded enamel bowl. Really nice, very bright coloring. So I had to have that. Um, this... Eric won with like other stuff. It wasn't just this piece. Um, he paid $21 for, I believe, the tray that this was on with some other stuff as well. I did list it on auction with a starting price of $69.99. That's what the last one sold for, but the last one that sold um, wasn't this collaring. And this collaring to me is way cuter than the one that sold it was like a brown collar so the yellow is just so much more fun I think so we'll see um how that goes this next piece was kind of an unsus what I call unsuspecting um piece <laughs> this is a cranberry um like opalescent glass toothpick holder. So this is a toothpick holder. This is by the Consolidated Glass and Lamp Company. And this little guy is actually from 1894. So it's a really old piece. Um, so some old toothpick holders. I know it's so weird sometimes, like the things you learn and everything like that. But some old toothpick holders, can sell for a lot of money. Um, this piece here, like I said, it's by Consolidated um, Glass and Lamp Company. Um, they call this pattern the crisscross pattern, and there hasn't been one of these listed on eBay since I think 2016. So it's very rare. Um, what I was Finding out when I was researching this, this was actually in a collector's book um, for toothpick holders, and it was originally valued at like 700 some dollars. Now, the last one that sold in 2016 sold for I think 200 something. So I don't know if value has gone up or down since then. That was quite a while ago, right? And this one does have issues. There are some um, chips around the, the rim of this. So it's not in like pristine condition or anything like that. But the fact that it's rare and there hasn't been one listed in such a long time, um, I was like, let's just bid on it, right? We won this for $7, okay, $7. I listed it today with a starting price. I put it on auction with a starting price of $99.99. It already has a bid and like five watchers. And I just listed it today. So if it goes for anything more than that, I'll be super duper thrilled. But, you know, I just don't know what it'll go for because of the issues. But since it's so rare, you know, if there's someone out there who, you know, is trying to collect this piece, um, they'll probably look past that just for the sake of being able to have it, you know, in their collection. So we'll see where this goes. You guys will have to have to follow along and I'll let you know what it ends up selling for. But old 
toothpick holders. Who knew? I also won a couple of um, scarves at the auction. There were some really nice silk scarves. And I was particular with the ones that I, you know, had Eric bid on. I don't have them all listed. Um, there, the people stuff that was there that day, um, the, they said the man was a broadcaster for a radio station or something. I don't know, but his, his wife had expensive taste. Um, there was some nice designer stuff there. Um, so yeah, she had a lot of nice silk scarves. So the first one, like I said, I don't have them all listed, but I have a YSL I don't have listed. I have a Givenchy not listed yet. So I have, and I have another Ralph Lauren that I haven't listed yet. So they will get listed. But the first one that I have is this brown, kind of smaller, square Ralph Lauren silk um, scarf. And it has the little uh, polo players on the horses on it. So really nice one. Um, Eric paid for the whole tray of scarves. Um, he paid $25. So that's nothing because these are some really nice scarves. So this one here I listed on auction with a starting price of $49.99. So um, some silk scarves, especially the designer brands and like the Ralph Lauren, like polo, anything really like equestrian type of theme can do really well. I didn't see any that looked like this listed. So I went with auction and listed that just today. I think it already has two watchers. So here's another Ralph Lauren scarf. This one had... Um, a couple spots on it. I think she used this kind of as like a wrap that she like wrapped, not around her head, but around like um, hats. She had a lot of hats and she would tie the scarves around like the brim bands of the hats. And I think that's where this one was originally um, found on. So again, this is another Ralph Lauren silk scarf this one is much much larger and it has like an argyle design in the center and then around the outside it has these golfers all over it with like the polo crest on the corners so again this was on the same tray the 25 dollars scarf tray and there was one of these listed well still is one of these listed for $99 and it has a lot of watchers. Um, I listed mine as a buy it now for $89.99 because it does have a couple of those little issues. And I took pictures of those um, in my listing. So won this box of ornaments. I don't know who made these. These are, it's like a whole box. I think there's 14 of them in here and they're like little plastic balls and they have these beads on so it kind of has that like what they call like the sugar coated look because of the beads so like I said there's 14 of them and they are like a plastic material I don't know who made them I paid a dollar for the box so I listed these on auction with a starting price of $19.99 so we'll see this piece I had for a while. I just didn't get to listing it. I think I got this at a yard sale. This is for an old, you can hang this up or put it like on a doorknob. And it has this faux greenery with some pine cones. And then these three bells at the end. And they do make like a jingly, jingly jangly noise. So this here, like I said, I got it at a yard sale. I probably paid less than a dollar for it. And I listed it as a buy it now for $19.99. I got this slotted spoon last week at a yard sale. Um, I paid a quarter for this. This is by Echo, the EKCO brand. But it has like the atomic type of starburst on the handle. Um, I paid 25 cents for this. And I listed it as a buy it now for $14.99. I have a German um, incense smoker, so he does come with his box. 
And then this is what he looks like. He is a Santa Claus. He still has its original um, tag still attached, made in Germany. And he is by KWO. So very, very cute. I have him listed as a buy it now for $125.99. And he was only used as a display, so never actually burned any incense in him. But if you've never seen a German smoker before, you, you put like an incense cone on the inside and light it, and then the smoke will come out of his mouth and it'll look like he's smoking his pipe. Last two things I have are actually Halloween ornaments. So these ornaments are made by Pier One. So the first one I have is this glittery bat. So he's made to hang upside down. He has these purple wings, very glittery. So some Pier 1 items, especially like the Halloween ornaments, can sell really, really, really well. Um, this guy here I have listed as a buy it now for $39.99 and I mean he was probably like less than $5 originally. Um, I had won him on a tray of some stuff at an auction um, but yeah if you ever come across Pier 1 Halloween ornaments definitely look them up. Um, so he's the he's cheaper than the other one listed and the other one listed has a ton of watchers so i think he will definitely go because he's cute and then i also have this one and this one looks like a little witchy poo boot with the stripes and the glitter this one still does have its original pure one tag it was originally three dollars and 95 cents and i have this one listed as a buy it now for 29 dollars and 99 cents so really cool <laughs> and unsuspecting really so that is pretty much everything for this haul i hope you guys enjoyed it um trying to think of anything new or interesting that's been happening lately i hope everyone had a really nice labor day weekend even if you spent it working um and also i did want to make mention and i will have a video about this and kind of the whole nine yards of it all um as we get stuff together and go through it but Eric and I are going to be participating in our first antique flea market. So we're going to be setting up at an outdoor antique flea market in October. So I'll have more information about all of that just in case anyone is like in the area or anything like that. Um, and then also I'll probably make videos about it all like getting stuff together and then you know when we actually like set up and everything like that so it'll be our first time we're really excited um we're just kind of at the moment just gathering some things that we'll need like um obviously we already have like the fold out tables and stuff um but <laughs> we went on amazon the other day and we purchased some of those and i'll like throw in a clip of what they look like but we got these like table covers that go over the folding tables just to make it look a little more professional and just more eye-catching kind of thing um and you know like protect the stuff that we're you know going to be sitting on it and everything like that so yeah we don't have an antique booth yet or anything like that so we figured why not try the outdoor market um specifically for antiques and see how it goes kind of just to like put our foot in the water type of thing so we're excited about that um so like i said i'll have more of all of that information closer to the time but i hope you guys enjoyed this one let me know what you thought down in the comments and i will see you next time